A total lockdown. Police and army troops were spread across the streets of the Egyptian capital, securing all three locations of the official ceremonies. The first was here at the Constitutional Court. Dozens gathered cheering for the new president before he took oath of office. I came for the sake of my country, because I love my country and I want it reformed, so that I can walk in the streets and feel safe, so that my kids will be safe. I haven't slept for three days because of my happiness for El Sisi. I'm happy because El Sisi deserved it. I'm happy because God made the country victorious. I wish I could see him. Egypt's interim president Mohamed Morsi and interim president Adli Mansour both were inaugurated here at the Constitutional Court. But this is by far the tightest security measures taken to guarantee the safety of Egypt's new president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. After his inauguration, el-Sisi went to the Ittahadiyya presidential palace. Their interim president, Adli Mansour, officially handed over the country's leadership, and the new president spoke to the nation. It is time to build a more stable future that creates a new future for the nation's history, to create a reality that takes hard work as a strategy for our lives, and through a unified national movement through which all parties would listen to the other and talk in logic and fairness, to differ for the sake of the country and not on the country. I want LCC to start working immediately after inauguration. He must know corruption won't wait. President Abdel Fattah Sisi is scheduled to hold a final ceremony at Al Qubba Palace. 1,200 Egyptians from various sectors have been invited. Meanwhile, El Sisi supporters announced their intention to continue celebrations. But Mohamed Morsi supporters vowed to protest planning their biggest rally on July 3rd, the day Morsi was ousted. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.